Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time on uh, social media while I was racing, obviously, but afterwards I went and read the uh, comments of Instagram and Facebook a little bit. A lot of you were curious to see what I was packing uh, on my bike because it seemed quite light. I don't have my bike here because it was shipped to Germany. Uh, it's gonna be at Eurobike. Eurobike starts next week and the bike's gonna be there. But I have all my stuff, all the stuff that I was using during the race is here. And I can show you what I had. I don't think that this is what you should plan on taking. I think that you should see it rather at what is the absolute minimum that you would need to complete a race such as the Tour Divide. But Definitely, if you try to emulate um, what I did and how light I managed to pack, uh, yeah, you should be extremely careful. Um, I'm able to do it because I've been racing for six years. Uh, I've raced more than 20 times, so I know what I'm doing and I know what I'm, what I'm capable of. But definitely, uh, this is like on the extreme side of how you should pack for such a race. That was my uh, jersey. It's the DHB Iron Ultra. Uh, I like it because it has five pockets actually get. The classic three pockets at the back. And then on the side here, you have another one. And another one here. When it was hot, I had this uh, base layer that uh, actually keeps you cool and avoid uh, maybe some chafing that you could have uh, from the, the bib shorts. The bib shorts are the ultra light from DHP as well. I really love that padding, very comfy. And also, yeah, obviously super light. That's how it's called, ultra light. So this is the other base layer that I have from DHP as well. It's super light. Like real, real light packs, pretty much down to nothing. About socks, um, I had three pairs. I was packing three pairs of socks. So the light ones, another pair of DHB Lab uh, light socks, summer socks, and some thick merino wool socks for uh, when it got cold. The reason why I was uh, carrying three pairs of socks is basically when your feet get wet, uh, what you want to do is as soon as the rain stops, you want to change socks. And yeah, this was my rain jacket. And what I love about my rain jacket is that hood. It has this big hood and with the big hood, uh, yeah, you can wear the jacket and the helmet at the same time. Pretty cool. This happened a lot because it rained a lot during the race so. The cask mojito, uh, not because I'm a fan of alcoholic beverages, but because it's extremely light. And so you kind of forget that you're wearing one. Uh, puffer jacket, down jacket, this one, uh, I'm gonna need to replace. I've been racing with this jacket for about three years now. It's from uh, Decathlon. Uh, really good value, like can't beat this value. Uh, and the hood. Nice feature. It got real windy in Wyoming and Colorado, and it's something that I did a lot. So I had, because it was not, not hot at all, but I had the buff like right there on my ears, uh, my headphones, and the hood, and just like so that I wouldn't hear the wind. I mean, the wind is gonna slow you down. Obviously, it's gonna make it hard, but also gonna drive you crazy with the noise. I like to ride with glasses, sunglasses. These ones are from Koo. Really stylish, love them. Some people don't wear it. I always wear a cycling cap, except when it gets really hot. As you can see, this one, well, I wore it for, no, you can't, yeah. It's gonna be out of focus. Yeah, I uh, wore it for uh, 14 uh, days and 16 hours, and it shows. These ones are my favorite gloves ever. Uh, just so comfy, uh, like a second skin, really. DHB Iron Mitts, uh, absolutely love them. And uh, long finger gloves. Any tent that is lower than five degrees. Leg warmers. Red pants. 
super useful. Uh, these are the flashlight rain pants from uh, DHB as well. That's all of the clothes. That's uh, pretty much the bare minimum, even though the first time that I raced uh, Tour Divide, I didn't have leg warmers, no rain pants, nor puffer jacket. Um, I don't think I had a base layer or a proper rain jacket, but I got very lucky. And now to something that a lot of you are curious about, just stay tuned. This here is my slipping kit. It's a SOL emergency bivy. So it's basically just a, a emergency blanket and uh, you can get in there. I'm not gonna pack it because it's just a son of a bitch to repack afterwards. Um, I used it twice, basically. Uh, sleeping in uh, toilets, pet toilets on the campgrounds. Um, yeah. My strategy uh, that I uh, defined before the race was I either managed to find a hotel or uh, yeah, some uh, nice uh, indoor shelter or I just keep going. That is my kit. And now we're gonna move to tools, electronics, and toiletries. Yep. So here's my repair kit. I was carrying as usual, a couple of tubes, uh, obviously tire levers, valve core removal tool, as well as a couple of extra valves because you never know what can happen and like they weigh nothing and take up no space, so might as well have them. This is a press that to shatter adapter in case you're at a gas station and you want to pump some uh, air in your tires. Always useful. Uh, some plugs. Obviously, if you get a puncture, and this is the tool that you would use for your plugs. Um, always carry a little bottle of, uh, of sealant. Always either use Stans or Orange. I don't know um, if the others are good. I have no idea. I've never tried them, but this is what I use. Um, yeah, and uh, what do we have here again for punctures? Just patches and glue, as well as uh, tire boots stand there. I've been carrying them for a long time, so they're like down in that little box and uh, they're getting real black. This is some uh, super glue in case you have uh, a cut on your tire uh, on the sidewall and you know, makes the, the plug a bit stronger. And if you have like a real tear, on your tire, this is what I have. So needle and thread will get you to the next bike shop where you can buy a tire. Pump, obviously, yeah. Use it a couple times. Chain links, uh, again, it's like the valve. To like uh, they weigh nothing. They take up no space. You might as well, might, you might as well have them. Um, spare euler hanger. Always carry one. Never needed it, but again. Weighs nothing. Spare brake pads. Didn't end up using them because I was running uh, Shimano center pads. And they just last forever, man. It was like... Multi-tool. Can save your life. And a knife. A really sharp. Should be really careful with this. If anything happens to you, you, sh you should be able to... Uh, repair and get to get to civilization in, in case you need to to do something a bit uh, more drastic for uh, these uh, mechanicals moving on to electronics I had a couple power banks 10,000 milliampers I've uh, been using these for uh, quite a bit of time you can see they're nice and muddy and to recharge them I have this charger chargeable port you get to that hotel, plug it, and you charge the power banks, the phone, and the GPS at the same time. This is a Carry 2. Been using this for a year now. Super happy with it. By far the most reliable GPS unit I've ever owned. Uh, great. Changed my life. And cables. 
you're gonna need cables if you're gonna charge all that stuff. Obviously, here's three, I actually had like four or five, because yeah, you never know what's gonna happen. You can lose one, one can stop working. So just, yeah, carrying a lot of cables. Moving on to toiletries. Fairly basic kit. Dental hygiene, important, at least once a day. Well, maybe at the beginning. Electrolytes, water purification tablets. Totalita, higienizante. That's, uh, you know, get your hands clean or other parts of your body. I'm not gonna get into details there. Uh, super important. If you don't have this, you're not gonna make it to the border. I was using this probably every hour on the tour divider. It was like the air was so dry. Couldn't live without this. And another very important item in my toiletries, what I put on my butt every night before I go to sleep so that I can keep going the next day. If you're in France, you're lucky, buy it, use it. It's a miracle formula. And that's all I was carrying. Don't try this at home. If you're gonna race the Tour Divide, make sure that uh, you have warm gear, you have good sleeping gear. <laughs> this is a tough game, so. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something, a lot, I don't know. I'll see you some of the time for some other video.